All right, we got another CSS battle for you today. We are given some random image and we have to try to replicate it as close as possible with CSS. And today we have a 15 minute time limit. We can submit as many times as we want, but whoever has the shortest solution at the end of 15 minutes wins. And a hint, if you guys missed it last time, it shows you your character count at the very top. You see how it says 540 characters right now? Oh, man. You I want that, that number to be as small as possible. Oh yeah, as small as possible, okay. Yeah. Cool. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Go. Oh, all right. How am I going to approach this? I'm thinking we could have just a div with a border like this and then use uh, box shadow to repeat it, like similar on each sides. Yeah, it could be repeated in all directions. Yeah, so I think each corner is a div with a repeating box shadow. So let's just get this top left corner working. Um, so I'm going to start by just trying to do multiple box shadows. Let's let's do box shadow. So we'll give ourselves a div. I'm going to do a bunch of paragraph tags because, oh man, I missed my tooling. I got four paragraph tags. We got four things here, okay? I have some shared styles on this. And in this paragraph, we're going to say, what? It's a square or a rectangle. So I'll say width is 70 picks. We'll do 70 picks for now, even though I know that's not accurate. I'm gonna do my boxes are blue and the background is red. So the background is actually gonna be this red color. And then each of my divs I create with border are gonna be this blue color. The width is going to be 50%, the height 50%. The background is going to be this background. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do several box shadows box shadow oh my god i can't spell okay box shadow these things are going to be how wide let's see if i can do some cj measuring so 90 to okay so 10 so so the box shadow is going to be zero zero and then zero for the blur and then 10 pixels it looks like 10 isn't enough so let's say the border is 20 pixels solid that blue color and there is no background. Yeah, like that. Um, and so I wanna get this box lined up with the middle here. Well, actually I'll get it lined up. Yeah, I'll get it lined up with the middle to get the correct size and then we'll shift it and create border boxes for it. So let's do 10 PX, 10 PX, zero red. If we do that again, but do green. I turn this diff off, let's see where we're at. We got a 70 by 70 square. So top of negative 50 picks and then left of negative 50 picks. So that at least gets us a little bit closer. Oh man, I've already used up so much time doing absolutely nothing. And then yeah, increase the size to match the center. So let's go for 200 width, 180, 173, 172. Is it just 170? Yeah, I think that's the way to go. So 170 and then the width is a little bit bigger. The colors are gonna alternate between this blue color. Oh man, I'm starting to re regret this approach, but I'm I'm into it. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's do six. Um, what's the gap? Shoot, I don't know. Oh, I gotta do blue ones in here, and then I gotta worry about like their stacking order. I hate on this when you take the wrong approach from the start, and then you're like, I guess I'm committed to this wrong approach. Okay, so we've got one of them. Now I want to give this uh, box shadow. Actually, does box shadow even include borders here? No, I don't think it does. I just need a bunch of borders. Okay, we're gonna, we only have nine minutes left. At this point, I think I just have to hard code a bunch of rectangles that are all like exactly positioned. So this would be 30, 45, 60 PX, 75, 90. Okay, and then we take this blue color and do it in every other. You know what, if I had any sort of math chops whatsoever right now, because my my brain is just not working, I could just goof with this by setting the width, right? I could just set the width. That's actually pretty, pretty dang good. It's looking not good. What if we transform scale? Oh, this is, yes. And translate X. Let's do X and Y in the same. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll also have one that's on the right. So yeah, this is right, bottom right, but then right and bottom right need to be absolutely positioned. Yeah, position 
Let's do fixed. Uh, right zero. Top zero. And then the body needs to have position. Well, I, just, I don't think it needs position relative. Oh, I need a semicolon there. Yeah. Uh, but then we need to flip it. So I think I could add a transform here. So if I make each 400 pixels wide. And so if I make the height just explicit. 150 px i'm looking at the wrong one here i gotta look at the last one to size it 100 px is that let's see the overlay of the diff oh that's almost there whoa, whoa things are turning around let's go okay so with inset i could rewrite this as inset negative 87 that's such a dumb value there's no reason top right bottom left trouble or no Yes, trouble. That's what Wes told me. Wes told me trouble. I'm going to use it against him. We're going to delete that. That didn't work. <laughs> Why did that work? I guess I could combine this with a rotate. 90 degrees. 180. Yes, that's it. Okay. So we've flipped it to the other side. Oh, man. I'm just going to be getting... I bet they're doing something so much better in terms of like repeating. Two, three, four, five, six. All right. I'm going to simply just start fussing with the scale and the translate. I'm just gonna start mashing it now. 60, 80, 85. Okay, maybe 85 is my number. All right, let's see my diff. Okay, okay, okay. I'm back in the game. You know, it's funny. A lot of people don't think about translate as being an option to just do a translate instead of transform. Um, so the translate values here, we can say 25 or something. This is so stupid because, again, I'm just like guessing the values. I feel like that's a wrong way to do it is to just guess the values. But hey, just going to start <laughs> mashing it now. I'm setting myself up for failure here. I got six minutes. Dot T. We'll give it a class of T. We'll say... Right, zero, left, auto, okay, rotate 90 degrees, okay, okay, now it's kind of funky, that's okay, we'll, we'll fix that in a second. Yeah, this is not looking good for me, because I'm literally only going to have the center of the image, um, so let's make this uh, white, just so I can see it. Oh, the missing border on the bottom one is covering up the other, but that's okay, because I kind of just want to flip it. So negative one in the X, negative one in the Y. Yes, okay, that's it. So <laughs> only three and a half minutes left, but I only have the center of the image. Okay, now everything just needs to be the uh, blue color. And then style, we'll do some inline styles for these. And we'll say, we're gonna translate this one. Oh. Now this is stupid because I'm gonna have to do this a whole nother time in a different side. Sorry, maybe I should focus on one thing at a time. That is like kind of not my specialty. YOLO, just type in stuff until it works. That is the motto here, 340. Oh, that was a good guess. That was a real good guess. Ooh, that was a good guess. This is not gonna be the shortest by far. 270, okay, there we go. And then Y is going to be right zero, left auto, bottom zero, top auto. And then we're going to rotate it 180 degrees. Okay. The way that this works, right? So now I have the two values. This should be easy. I have the negative 28. So this one can be negative 28 picks. So it's going to be like, a positive two something, a positive three something. Just just start typing until it works. There, there, there are so many better approaches to this, folks. If you're watching me and you're like, what is he doing? Um, I concur. Um, I'm just going to create a variable for this. So we'll say B is uh, that. And then everywhere I need it, we'll use var B. This is... There's no way I'm gonna win this one. I I'm not at all confident. Let's just see what our ma our match percentage is not gonna be very very high. Probably like eighty percent. Um. Oh, 60, Yeah, this is not good. Beauty. So now I have the values. So now that means two seventy six picks, and then this one. Ooh, I got something. On, on I gotta. This. I'm running out of time. I gotta save this. I'm gonna bring it back to where we have. Okay, so let's just start pushing them around 65 67 68 70 
71, okay. Okay, so position absolute, we gotta translate in here. Translate, I do feel like, I feel like inset could be shorter possibly, and I don't necessarily know right now if I have the time or opportunity to change it. I guess starting off, I thought box shadows would repeat the borders, but I don't think they do. And so that kind of threw me off. I'm freezing, we only have two minutes left. Okay, let me just try to get the top left corner <laughs> and then maybe that'll get my score up just a little bit. Uh, so let's create a class for top left. Yeah, this code is a mess. Oh man, one minute left. Oh no, that's not looking good at all. I'm not confident that I'll be able to beat CJ because- I'm not feeling good about this The one. darn guy cheats and he has, he's got a lot of like shifty stuff. He, he understands how to win these games. Probably just need to delete this code. Oh, how many characters is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Verse one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, uh, dumb. Ah, it's pretty close. Honestly, this probably would have been the way to go. Start top left and then just gradually repeat it and increase the width and the height. Three, seven, four, seven, five, seven, six. What other micro optimizations can I make in 20 some seconds? What am I doing wrong? Why can't I see it? These values can't be shortened really. That's not bad. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at that. How'd you guys do? 62.9. Percent match or yeah. score? Uh, 157, not very good. No, Ooh. so I had a 62% a match with like over 500 characters. I only got a 154. Oh, really? so I beat you. Yeah. Guys, yeah. I got a 100% match, what? 613 points, and I did what? it in three, 359 characters. Heck yeah. What? Are, All right, did we, we do the same Scott. one? We told you number 168. Yeah, uh, 168. Oh, yeah, baby. I fumbled. I was like, I want to do this with box shadows, and I couldn't figure out how to do it with box shadows. So I just re recreated the X in the middle and didn't get anything else done. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was trying to do it with gradients, and then I I used I used box shadow. So I did box shadow, right? Same thing you guys did. I did position absolute and translate, and oh, then just man. a man. And you didn't have a height on it. And then I threw oh. inline translates on the other P tags. Can you walk me through how the box shadow works here? Because I was thinking like if I gave a div a color and then gave it a box shadow or gave it a border and then gave it a box shadow. The box shadow doesn't have the borders, but you're not even using borders. You're, like yes. you're just using- So here's how it goes. Uh, because you can't do like an empty space or mm -hmm. you could do transparent and then have a body on here, but it ended up being less code to do it this way. So okay. what you do is you do one box shadow. This box shadow has no offset, no blur, and is 20 pixels wide and is orange. Then mm -hmm. I have a 40 pixel wide box shadow that is blue, and then a yeah. 60 pixel box shadow that is orange, oh. and they all just stack on top of each other. Yeah, I was thinking just have an orange box or just have a blue box, but you're literally alternating your box shadow color. Yeah, that's great. My box shadows were offset. Like, how did you not get them to, like when you offset a box shadow, it, it goes down. So I had to scale mine up, and then I was in a mess of like translate Dude. scale. And I you was don't just offset. pushing the numbers around. You don't do offset, that's why. I started doing offset and I realized it was the wrong thing. So there's no offset on mine. All, all I'm doing is is there's no offset and I'm just changing the width and they're sitting on oh, top of it. They're layering on top. Oh man, yeah. that's the move. Man, that's impressive. Love it. Good Great job, man. man. I might have to quit after today. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> Give me more of these. Give me yeah. this one again. I can do it. Man. It was good. great work, Scott. That was awesome. So that was another, let me just say, incredible game of CSS battles. I think that's the best one yet. If you like this, let us know. We'll be doing more CSS battles. We'll be doing uh, Clash of Code, all kinds of fun stuff. So if you like this and had a good time, go check out the other CSS battles we did. And let me tell you, they're not as good as them. I'm just kidding. They're great. They're, they're awesome, <laughs> even though uh, the outcomes may vary. So check it out.